Hi, I'm Ricky Young with your UTTV News Update. A suicidal man is in custody after pointing a gun at police at De Anza Cove Park in Mission Bay on Wednesday. Officers were called after the man told a dispatcher that he had a weapon and wanted to commit suicide. Police say the man was found in a gray sedan, which he later got out of, then pointed a gun at officers. When the man refused to drop his weapon and surrender, police shot him, according to a witness. The man's name has not been released. The standoff lasted for nearly an hour. Hour. Members of the San Diego Police Department gathered this afternoon to recognize some of their own. The department recognized personnel and citizens for exceptional or heroic acts. These included an officer who was shot multiple times while trying to apprehend a wanted felon and an officer who helped save the life of a 20-year-old man who was trapped in a disabled minivan in rising floodwaters last November. When I went in there and went to save, you know, to get the guy out, I, the only thing I had in my mind was we have to get this person out. And when we went in, uh, Officer Ward and I went in, we worked together, he punched the, the window, and once he punched the window, then I was able to reach in and grab him and pull him out, and it was a team effort between uh, Officer Ward and I. Ten citations were presented at the Bob Hope Theater at the Miramar Marine Base. Mayor Faulkner and the City Council will be meeting Thursday behind closed doors to discuss their options after their plan to impose a hotel tax to expand the convention center was struck down. A court ruling last Friday said a hotel surcharge to fund the project is unconstitutional. Two years ago, the city's hotel owners approved a room tax of 1% to 3% to finance the $520 million project. It's unclear where the money might come from now without voter approval of higher taxes. The hotel tax would have generated roughly $35 million a year. The San Diego City Council will be going on a four-week break after Thursday's meeting. Rangers executive A.J. Preller has accepted a five-year deal to become the Padres' new general manager. Preller, an assistant GM for the Rangers, will become the Padres' fourth GM in six years. The team fired Josh Burns in June. Preller has worked inside the Rangers organization for the last 10 years. And Apple is set to unveil its iPhone 6 at an event on September 9th. The 6 will have a much larger screen and is expected to be faster. Apple will likely provide more details on the forthcoming version of its mobile operating system, iOS 8. It's also widely expected to unveil a new smartwatch at the event. Remember, you can get all your latest headlines right here at utsandiego.com.